Welcome Joystick Justice League to episode 7 of Joystick Justice League Battle Arena, or JJLBA for short. I'm one of your players today, Mike Frusios. I'm Joe Morin. And we are doing Grand Theft Auto Online, which of course was a component of Grand Theft Auto 5, which was released last fall for the PS3, Xbox 360, recently announced, much to everybody's surprise, for PS4, Xbox One, in addition to the PC, Joe. So. Uh, I've had a chance to play through the campaign. Love it. It's stellar as always. You know, it, it's just it's mm -hmm. it's really the reason why you, you go to GTA in the first place. But now you have this other half of the game, Joe, which both you and I have been exploring over the last few weeks. And uh, I mean, there's there's things I like about this that I really like, and there's things I don't like so much. What what are your impressions right now after having gotten to about you're you're almost level thirty now on this. You you've put some time into this. What, what do you think of of uh, of this full on? Grand Theft Auto online experience. The online uh, is fun when it, it works. It's a it's a blast. It's a fun to play. You know, all sorts of crazy hijinks and uh, things can happen. But when the servers decide not to cooperate, it, it uh, does turn into a very frustrating experience, which uh, has me uh, I'm, I'm optimistic and, and cautiously excited for uh, the uh, PS4 and the Xbox One and the PC version. Hoping that uh, things are going to be a lot more stable when it comes to the online network here. I think that's what we're all kind of hoping for. I mean, structurally, this is great. I mean, it plays like Max Payne 3 meets Red Dead meets... We, it really takes a little bit of every one of Rockstar's games. It has the great driving mechanics of Midnight Club, you know, mixed yep. with all these other genres. And it really unfolds into this really nicely crafted online experience. I mean, there's something here for everyone, whether you're a fan of driving games, shoot 'em ups high switch aren't here but they're coming i mean rockstars promised them and i think both you and i have kind of predicted that i think the high the heist component of the online will probably be unveiled with the eighth generation releases but even without that there's lots to do here joe i mean lots to keep you busy story like story missions within the can within the online just death mm -hmm. matches races parachute rides tennis but you mentioned some problems. Joe, what are some of the problems you've been having, like specifically, like in terms of trying to stay connected in this game? Uh, the, the, the problems, and they uh, are not predictable. They, uh, you don't uh, you know, get booted out or you get kicked out or however you want to word it. It never happens, seems to happen at the same time. It, it's very random. And uh, it tends to happen when, well, it's never a good time for it to happen, but it's, uh, it, it always seems to happen at the worst possible time. You're either in mid-mission or you're, you're trying to, get things together to go on a mission or whatnot. It's just, it, it's, a, it's a very chaotic experience when the network decides to uh, to not cooperate. When it do, does cooperate, like I said though, it, it is a, a blast to play. Yeah, like you said, Joe, it's, it's really tough with people of differing bandwidths and different regions to kind of keep a stable lobby going. And the problem is that if there's a problem with one person's connection, a lot of the times everybody else in the lobby is going to eat it too and get kicked out. And what typically happens is you'll get kicked out back to the campaign and mm -hmm. then when you try to reload the online, it'll just get in this cycle of kicking you back out to the point where you're like, I have to restart the game, re spend the whole two to three minutes to load it up again. Like, it's a long loading time, especially in the middle of a broadcast if your connection goes down or, oh, there goes that yeah. hedge. It, it just, it's just too many problems. I, I, apparently, the 360 players haven't been having the same problems. That doesn't surprise me because Xbox Live in the seventh generation was a lot stronger than the PSN, but... At this mm -hmm. point in the 8th gen, if these problems persist with the PS4 edition, I'm going to be really disappointed and I'm not going to re recommend it to anybody. I think that's really... Uh, did you just jump out the car? I, I think accidentally did. I think you just bailed. Well, was, I, was I boring you there? Talking about the 8th generation? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but yeah, Wrong I mean, there really the is no excuse to, uh, to have those kind of problems where in the 8th generation, much more powerful consoles, the, the, the capabilities of cloud processing at these developers fingertips so that's what i'm really hoping i mean i'm not i mean obviously the graphical upgrade will be nice joe it'll be great to see liberty i mean los santos reimagined on ps4 but i want to see a stable online where i can actually get more matches in the loading screen so speaking of game time let's get it going you can either yep. drive around there's i mean a whole bunch of match checkpoints or there's also free things you can do you can go to the movies play tennis but i'm gonna go actually accept a mission that comes in from one of the bosses via text. So we'll go to Martin Madrazo, and what he's got a mission for us. Joe's kind of overseeing traffic right now. And uh, yeah, you get a description of the mission. We're gonna join this. 
So I'm gonna host this one, and then I'll just have to kind of send out the invites. And hopefully, we can keep a stable connection. But I guess even if we don't, we can at least show proof on this broadcast of what happens on a typical night trying to get GTA 5 going on. Uh, yeah. Try to get GT5. Try and get GTA 5 going consistently without like mm -hmm. pulling your hair out because you've been kicked for the fifth time and everybody else is still playing. It's 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 crazy. And, and, and that's the thing. It's like these nightmares of going back to Max Payne 3 a couple of years ago with the with the dodgy servers we dealt with back then. It, this is such a great online mode, Joe. I, I really don't want to see it go to waste just because of frustration. You know, and I can almost. Uh, I, and I, I know on. Uh on current gen and PC, I mean, and the graphics are going to be improved. I mean, this is already a really good-looking game. You know, just uh, just really Fantastic. now, the, uh, the 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 gameplay and uh, especially that online. You know, it, it's uh, you don't need to to boost the graphics by much. Yeah, just make for just make the the gameplay nice and solid and really beef up this online mode so it just makes it a lot more reliable and so we can just enjoy it a lot more because it it really pulls it. Not only does it pull you out of a potential broadcast or whatever you're doing but it just it pulls you Look, out of the I game mean, experience anybody who's general. watched us try to play gta 5 online you, you know that half the mm -hmm. half the broadcast is typically loading screens either getting kicked out having to restart the game and it, it's annoying so i mean in addition to cutting down loading time i just want to see a more stable network come out of this so we are in the middle of a mission from our madrat so let's uh let's just check my cell phone real quick what's going on here so stick up the Stick up the stick up crew. Normally, I don't concern myself with professional thieves. You want to rob a bank? Who am I to get in the way? Unless you hit one of my safety deposit boxes or have something I want, then you have nothing to worry about. There's a crew down at the port who have something I want, a shipment of arms I can use, go down there and bring it back to me. What so, the hell just happened? I'm a, I'm, a ch I'm a child of the 21st century. Uh, let's put on the GPS and get there quick. I got stranded here, guys, and uh, I got ran over by a car with nobody driving. You got ran over by a car? Yeah, with, and there was nobody behind the wheel. Where are you now? Awesome. I'm, I'm back where we started there. Did you die? No, you didn't die. No, okay, I'm, so, I'm in a white car now. Okay, so you're just going to drive there? Alright, let's go. Here, I'll... Are you going to get my car? Yeah. Or just well, slam into the back of it? Sure, why not? <laughs> I'll fall it. I'll why fall not? It, it, it'll respawn itself. Are you going to get what? in? I'll get in. Alright. I'll, I'll get in. I, I'm, uh... I'm curious to see if your driving skills have improved. Uh, okay, let, oh, yeah. if my driving skills improved, eh? Okay, we'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see about that. You're, you're the sucker who got in my car today, so uh, whatever happens, happens. Whoops. Yeah. Whoops, here we go. I see, see I Joe's been pretty to many of my, my, uh, my ride. Oh, Speed Racer. Hey, Speed Racer. Uh, Joe's I been saved, pretty to many of my I saved my crazy driving for the races. That's what I do. I saved my crazy driving for the races. Uh, here we go. Here we go. I take no Here we go. Here we go. You got the express route here, Joseph. Uh, oh, 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 see? No, no, see, didn't hit it. Didn't hit the telephone pole this time. Okay, so we're making Larry like half fact the time. This, interesting Ooh. fact in this game, metal, the metal telephone poles are easy to knock over. The wooden ones, not so much. Yeah, you know what? I mean, whoever whoever, uh, whoever <laughs> grow, plants the trees in Rockstar's world, man, they're indestructible. They're like made out of kryptonite. Whereas, yeah, oh, any yeah, metal pole awesome. can be smashed into a million pieces. For some reason, wood just does not splinter in this game, so uh, watch over yeah. those wood telephone poles. Don't be a sucker. I know it's not just metal in those poles, it does have poured concrete inside. Those are those are strong mothers. <laughs> it's, and, <laughs> and, it's concrete filled wood, it's and, like a hybrid. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, no! No! Oh! <laughs> Our yeah. crewmate got a little feisty there. Well, there's a train coming. Oh, the train's coming too. <laughs> well, oh the, the transmission's a little fucked up, but I mean, it's 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 still rideable, so it's gonna get us to our mission. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna get us back from the mission. That's like the this, burning question like here. Like you can tell. Yeah, I'm on the path for Oh I boy, I got cut off you there. Got, you know, just you let me get there the first. Right, on the right hand side, and now the car is like at, at a, it's tilting. I think it's at an angle. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, so uh, Polly, aka Angela Snipe, is going to clear a path for us here. Yep. Okay. We're at the scene of the uh, uh, of the future crime here. 
time to get into a bloody shootout. Oh boy, a little feisty there, Joe. Hey, eh? you just don't even wait for the car to stop. Just oh, oh, save it for the save it for the fight there, Buster. You save it for. The, oh, here we go. Here we go. We're in it now. We're in to win it. We're in to win it. I will kill you. Now, the other good thing about this game is that you have the choice, like in Max Payne 3, to choose between free aim and what I'm using, what we're using by default right now, the uh, Snap 2 aim, which I think is great in third person games. Personally, yeah. I think it just just makes it quick and dirty. It does. But you, for the more advanced oh hardcore God. player, there is a free mode available. Free Definitely mode. kicks things up a notch. I got a little feisty uh, stuck on the open there. I will say the majority so of people I know do play on the Snap 2 mode, though. The assisted aim. Oh, oh we're surrounded, man. We're yeah. surrounded. Oh, wow. Just shooting at meat there. Oh, somebody's coming from behind. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Ooh, boy. This guy over here. Oh, yeah. Cross fire. Yeah. Dude, I, like, I live for, like, some of the things that the enemies sh shout at you before you blast in the face. Like, mother... Oh, yeah, that's where he is. I'm just a cyclone of death. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm in, like, the worst place possible right now. Gotta get out of here. And looks like our friend Polly has perished. Oh, he's still going to Oh, he's dead. He's dead. What a massacre. Oh, the hell of chopper's coming in. You're an asshole. Don't call me an asshole. Don't call me names. Oh, 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 zippered him up, up the face. Now this helicopter's taking shots. Oh, jeez. No, no, not there, not there. This guy's gotta go. This guy's gotta go. Whew. There's still more of them. Watching these guys. Right to the windshield. Okay, we gotta get in this truck. The first, okay, I think we're almost clear here, guys. We'll be taking this truck Uno Momento. Oh, good night, Irene. All right, ready, guys? Oh, wow. And I died. You died? Okay, well, you just try to catch up with us and cover us. I, I, I died riding a truck ski. Of the guys we're, we're taking this bitch out. Delivering the goods. Look at this guy. He's trying to go in the other way. What a moron. Alright. I'm now watching from above. I got Polly as my uh, my sidearm here. He's going to be taking fools out the passenger side window with the, with the Uzi. <laughs> so far so good, but we do have a hella chop on our ass right now, so... I don't know where you are, Joe, right now, but if you can help us by taking out that helichopper. I'm, uh, I'm in heaven watching. Oh, yeah, I think he's now. spectating right now, so it's just us. Okay, it's up to us yeah. now to collect this reward. So now, because Joe's spectating, for some strange reason, I can't chat with him right now, so... We may be talking over top of each what? other during the during this actual edited show. Who knows what's going on? But that's something that's interesting. That when you're spectating after dying, you can't chat anymore, which is odd. So we're just gonna finish this. Oh, ho, ho, bad out of hell! What are you doing? Why do you go that way? Who was that? Oh shit! I lost my passenger. It's all me now. Okay, here we go. Flying solo. I still have a way to go here, so let me see. Oh, oh, my, oh god. my god! No! 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 Why? Why oh. meteorite truck? Why? Go, go, go. Alright, let's keep it together. Yeah, that truck got fucked up. I've lost both my crew. It's just <laughs> me in the lockup now. Point A to B. You guys won't quit. There's, a, there's no 
really doing nothing left on this truck. Go lose them, lose them, <laughs> lose them, lose them. <laughs> oh, this is getting hairy. This is getting hairy. How much further? Oh, we should have to drive. Take this guy out. Take him out. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna keep it straight away here. So they can't do anything, but they have to get like up next to me to do something here. Like, I don't know what they're thinking. Okay, yeah, now he's, he's getting into it. Did he keep shooting in the back? Can you shake him? Can you shake him? some traffic up ahead. I have to plow through here. Hope for the best. Oh, these guys are mad. They're mad. Oh, wow. No way. Oh, my God. No wow. effing way, man. That was <laughs> smart. Just before I was supposed to take a turn. That's so marquee. He blindsided me. All right, but I think I'm close enough that he's going to back off now. And we will be rejoined by Joe. And Polly in the lobby as soon as I drop this truck off. Did it, boys? No, 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 little, oh, little ambitious. Oh, he missed the turn. Do it. There we go. Get out of here. Yeah. Beautiful. Good job. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, that was that was one thing I wow. mentioned as as uh, now that Joe, I can hear you again in my chat. One thing I mentioned is that it's really odd yeah. that it has to cut you out while you're spectating, so we can't That's, converse during that. That is part. very bizarre. Very bizarre. So uh, I have no idea whether we were talking over top over top of each other for the last two minutes, but uh, we got it done. Cool. So now you can either like or dislike the mission that Rockstar's created and give them feedback. And then what it does is it kicks you into this kind of jukebox. Uh, choose choose the next mission community votes. I see we've already got a, a vote for a refresh here. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get like maybe a driving mission going here next. I guess we're gonna try another mission. Or we're gonna do a sea race. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna get on our uh, our jet skis and, and make it happen. Like, I think we get. I think it's either jet ski or boat. I'm not sure. We'll see. We're gonna see. Now the races in, in particular, I'm really fond of because it uh, it gets pretty chaotic and uh, it's uh, it, it, it gets pretty it gets pretty dirty. You know, depending on <laughs> who you're racing against. Oh, absolutely, you know, and then it's, it's just whether somebody, I don't think anybody really plays clean in this game. <laughs> yeah, I think you I try to diplomatically, but the game inevitably just gets dirty. So, and I, I think that's that's to be said of, of our games. Uh, I'm just going to keep it to the three of us right now. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can get any random people and see how, because that's how what, what changes the, the dynamic of the race. Like, I mean, you can play with your own lobby all you want, but once you get, like, the randoms mm -hmm. in and maybe a couple of trolls who, who don't even try or it, it really it really changes things yeah. up and uh yeah man these 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 races get close i mean seriously one one fuck up and yeah, you're toast do. all right so let's see if we can get anybody in here real quick let's we'll see if anybody bites but we got a nice uh, three people to, to square off here and i just uh moved up to 29 i looks like i un unlocked a bunch of weapon abilities so that's pretty cool so we're going to be racing speedboats. Maybe we'll do a road race after this if one's available. We could also do maybe a survival mission. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to sink your teeth into. Again, even if you don't want to do missions, you can just go and mess around with your friends. You can go and play a game of tennis. Yep. You can go play darts. You know, you can just kill each other in the middle of the road, you know. And, we, and what I like about this, Joe, is that what they added this, this update of the, of the mood level. Or the mental state, sorry. Where... If somebody's going around killing people in a, like like just haphazardly, their their color will rise to red, and you kind of know that that's that person. You have to watch out for that person, which is nice. I like that yeah. touch. The one thing, one thing you have to be careful with uh, when, it, when it comes to uh, messing around in free mode, 
is that we have the, the tendency when we get a little too cute and trying to kill each other and mess around, we tend to get Yeah, it's out. like the game gets offended that we're, we're having, actually causing having that? fun in free mode and it just kind of kicks us out as soon as we start to, to rag on each other. Yeah. It just so uh, The game just doesn't really like my creativity, you know, like gas up a car with a bunch of gasoline, put some fireworks around it. Yeah. But here we go. Okay, it's race time. How, how, how long till it gets dirty? Right now. Oh! <laughs> you just like skidded across your, the top of your head there. Can you get hair? Oh, can you get seaside oh my God. hair? Oh, damn. All right. This is getting crazy already. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm miss the checkpoint. Yeah, the other thing I really like about the, the a big improvement over GTA 4's attempt at online is the respawning after you mess up during a race. Now you can just kind of get right yeah. back into it without having to find your way back onto the road, which is nice. You'll lose a couple seconds, but at least you're not mm -hmm. spinning in circles trying to figure out where the last checkpoint was. Exactly, yeah. It does help. But, I mean, everything plays well. No matter what mode you're in, everything controls well. Yep. Everything is, it's like everything Rockstar did in the seventh generation led up to this. It's like, there's, like I said earlier, there's a little bit of Max Payne here, a little bit of Red Dead, a little bit of Midnight Club. Yep, it, it seems to, it's all kind of the, the good elements all mixed in together. See, that's the point a lot of other sandboxes missed, man, is that driving is a heavy component. If the driving isn't tight and fun, then your sandbox is kind of dead. Like, you don't want to explore anymore. Like, that's the great thing about GTA is that the driving has just been so refined. Oh, my God. And especially, I think a lot of people like the fact that they went back to the head-on angle as opposed to GTA 4's content kind of to the side angle when you were driving, which yeah. a lot of people didn't like. This is more of the traditional camera angle, which, you know, it's, it's a lot easier to orient yourself. Ooh, that was a close race. Polly takes first place. Joe, you were just, just like right behind. Just right the better behind. Idea so that, was, that was a good race. That was actually less dirty than we usually have. I think it was because we were in the water. Wait till we get into the city streets and you see how garbagey this this shit gets, man. The wipe, wipe two assholes oh, yeah, it after gets one ruthless. of these races. It gets ruthless. Because you get taken on one race and then you do another race and you, you want to get revenge. It's just, a, it's, it, and it gets pretty freaking Oh, big time. Big time. But that's the thing. It, the game rewards you no matter what. I mean, you're going to get RP, you're going to get some money in the bank. Yep. Uh, one thing you always want to do in the game is great yep. at reminding you is that you need to bank your money every time you go back into free mode because somebody could easily just beat you, like, beat you up. Here I am saying beat you up. Kill your ass and steal your money. So. <laughs> Yeah, don't. Uh, that's how actually ha that's actually happened English. to me. But now, see, here's the thing. You can go into free mode. We're not doing that, obviously, because this is one of the major connection issues with GTA V Online PS3 Edition is that once, I'd say eight to nine times out of ten when you try to go to free mode from a lobby like this, it'll kick everybody out. And, and yeah. the problem, like I said before, is that it'll kick you out to story mode and it'll take you at least four or five tries and maybe a couple of saves to rejoin online, which basically you should have just restarted the game in the first place. So these are things, Rockstar, you need to be fixing in the eighth generation, eighth gen iterations of these games. Or it's just it's a it's this a game breaker I'm, for me. You know, I'm it's... hosting now. This is uh, kind of strange. Why am I hosting? Uh, you know th that's just that's just the nature of the beast. Uh, playing PS3 version of GTA Five, it's just the it's the it's really strange, yeah. but. Uh, that's I don't bizarre. know. Maybe it's because you were the first to choose. I think it's because you chose the mission, and then and everybody agreed with you because I, I didn't hit X on that. So maybe whoever gets the vote hosts the lobby, and that means that you get to tweak the rules. That's po right. It's possible. That that, that makes sense. It's that possible. if you're the first to to start the lobby, then you get to tweak the yeah. sub rules. So now, yeah. See, good thing about us playing off stream right now, Joe, is that you can't see what car I'm picking. So maybe I'll have a slight, <laughs> yeah. maybe a little bit more of a tactical advantage this time we'll around. See. We'll see. Maybe not, but uh, we shall see. We'll go hot pink. Why not? We'll, we'll go with a barbecue on your driving cars. style we'll when you go stand to pick up these. from the crowd here. It all depends on your driving style when you go to pick one of these cars. There's some cars that have a higher top speed. Yeah, some it depends. A you know, quicker. and it depends so on the race too, Joe. If you have a lot of straightaways, you have a lot of tight turns. Yeah. There's yeah. no real guaranteed vehicle. It's just there's a lot of you coming at this because I mean, 
you got the traffic factor here too. You know, that's that's what separates GTA from a lot of other racers that you do have the traffic factor, which you, you can turn on and off. You, there's even a mode where you can um, you can actually turn off contact between you and the other players. You'll still hit the traffic, but I can't hit you and affect the race that way. It's just like I got I got I got shited upon right now. Okay, it's already gotten dirty. We'll see how this race goes now. With my hot pink car here. Some hot pink death. <laughs> oh, see, I can already see like two seconds ahead. It's it's going to be madness. I'm going to get you back for that little side swipe. Oh, Man, do boy. GTA rules one of these days with guns. Uh oh, uh oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Here I come. <laughs> Suck oh, it! Dick. Get the old pit maneuver. <laughs> oh my god, I can't tell you how many Dude, there's so much karma there. in this game. Like, you mess around enough, you'll pay you'll get you'll you'll, you'll, you'll oh, get yeah. paid back for sure. The universe will pay you back in this game. Yeah. Right now we've both got two black marks on us for this race. Oh my god. Head on into a building. Uh oh. Awesome. I don't know how we do it. DNF. DNF, eh? And, and, and Polly's just killing us right now, man. Good, yep. there's no... Um, there's also this weird glitch that happens sometimes. I'm sure other people have seen this, where a giant rock resembling a testicle just kind of spawns out of nowhere <laughs> next to the weird. cityscape. And, it, and you weird. actually crash into it, and it just spawns in at the last moment. Very odd. Um, yep. Game-breaking glitch, I'd say, because it, it pops up in the middle of the race. You know, it'll screw you up. It did it just the other day. Yeah. Yeah, you just out of nowhere, you got a big set of balls right in the middle of the road. It, uh, it's uh, unnerving. To well, I mean, come on, you're, you're, it's Saturday night, driving down the boulevard, a giant pair of balls in front of you. Yeah. What are you going to do? All of a sudden, big you look balls. away? Oh my god. Oh, I suck. Like we're also spaced out so far apart. Like, oh, Paulie's got this way better car than we do. His acceleration's yeah. insane. Or top speed or something. I don't know what's going on here. Mine's. Just, I'm just my car's in corner with the dam. Oh, there we go. I make bound street signs. Don't I don't care about yours. Come on. Just oh oh you boy. Come on. Take my reputation, please. Thank you, coming in. Come on. And I missed Come my on. checkpoint. Good one. Can't zone out. Can't zone out an open world racer. Just can't. Out. I totally messed this up. Oh, God. Well, at least we got a race. Oh, here we go with Dirty Joe again. All right. <laughs> nice Just buy yourself up. out. Got a guardian angel this race, man. Oh yeah. yeah you get something with that, that pink, pink car, car man. It's, it's, a, it's a manly car, you know. Oh man, this car is garbage. Oh yeah, head-on collision. Just awesome. <laughs> Damn. Joe gonna get it? Third place or a DNF? Let's see. Yeah, it's counting down here. Come down the line. To actually, finish this race here. I 
All right, so even though you couldn't see Joe's feed, that's a taste of what uh, racing was like and how competitive it can get. So let's get back to uh, stuff that we can actually see all of us on. So we'll just kind of stick to missions. We'll do this violent duct here. Looks like it must be a mission for, oh, what happened there? Do we refresh? All right, let's do this one here, pick up sticks. I think we've tried this one a few times. It, uh, you need some precision to, to pull this mission off. Yeah, work together. So oh, conver can, uh, conversation is key. To these I mean, it is not key. Here, here's the, the reality: when you get in a uh, lobby with strangers, typically what happens is they just kind of go off and do the missions, mm. and, and you get rewarded for it, even if if you've done nothing. And, and overall, we've had way more successful matches when we're actually on top of the the chat here. So. Just get rid of the music for copyright purposes here. And okay, so the good thing about when you get into the lobbies that you can actually choose to uh, get some last minute armor and ammo. You don't have to just stop at ammunition every time. Yep. Which is a welcome addition. I think they should also have like a snack and armor so. vendor. Like that would be nice too, but you know, you can have everything. Okay, so we are flying a helicopter. Joe, I'm gonna let you do this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you do some baptism by fire. Yeah, L1, R1 to do your, your turning, okay. and L, L2, R2 is your, you know, your deceleration, uh, you know, your decline, incline. So just remember that, folks. He asked me, yeah. he asked yeah. me so to fly. It's all you. And just use L1, Careful so I basically just kind of, yeah, use L1, R1 for your turning. All I really use are the top four, the top four buttons when I'm piloting the helicopter with both sticks. Actually not, no, just the left stick, sorry. Okay, so we gotta go we got a package of the cement works. There's three of us in the chopper right now. We'll try to make sure we don't bail early, yep. like we usually do. I do have a full set of armor here, I don't wanna <laughs> sacrifice it for any gaff. But here's that's the thing you mentioned earlier, Joe. This is this is still an impressive looking game for the seventh generation. Just like when you have high here and you realize that you can walk Absolutely. to any of these areas on the map. It's, it's pretty impressive what they managed to do. And, and, and that's why I get why there's problems with the GTA Online on the PS3 versus the 360. The PSN, we know, is way inferior. And there goes the fucking helicopter. <laughs> All right, so we got to remember the helicopter's here because we maybe have to get back into it for like the second part of the mission. I don't know how it's going to play out. Okay. So... I'm gonna leave a map. I'm gonna leave a marker on the map just so we, we remember. Okay. Nope. All right, let's take out some red next year. Oh yeah. Okay. There, the package is up high. I remember this one. So one of us has got to. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. We're in it. We're in it to win it. Oh, what's up? Whoa, oh, oh, there he is. Uncle Elmer over there. Oh, Dunsky. Joe, are you, uh, where are you, Joe? Are you going up the ladder there? <laughs> yeah, I see you. Okay, we'll try to keep the, the ground clear. Oh, I think oh Paul's going, going up. Here. Shot him in the armpit. Okay. Two more of these dingbats. Uh oh, uh oh. Sorry, Cletus. <laughs> yeah, Cletus. Okay, and there's the chopper. It's cousin Merle. Okay, we're off. we're off. Back to the chopper. Okay, good job, Polly. Polly went up to the second level, got the got the package, and we're off to the ultras camp. Polly, are you gonna fly this one? All right, we got a different pilot this time. And Joe's on his way, and Joe's inside. All right, we're off. Let's go. <coughs> good job, guys. We got four. A nice, yep, not bad. good four. Okay, this is the right. one where we have to park the chopper out front of the gates. Okay, we don't, we don't want to go all ramble like I did last time and park it right near the package and then get spawned off the mountain. Yeah. We, if we, we got to go in, take out the watchtower and just do this it surgically like we, we always do. 
Oh, this chopper's almost done. Look at like the smoke coming out of it. It's gonna disintegrate midair. Yeah. So crashing into those wooden telephone poles doesn't help. No, no, I'd say not. <laughs> yeah. I had to think about it there for a second. Well, like, I thought I'm like, did it? Was it good? Was it good? So I think Polly knows where to take this. Oh, yeah, right, out, yep, right outside the camp. We're gonna have to yeah. shoot our way in. But this at least we've got an easier way to get back to the chopper once we've grabbed the contents of the package. So Oh, what am I doing? Nope, that didn't work. I really did not mean to kill kill myself there. That that sucks. That really sucks. <laughs> wow. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that sucks. That was still funny. Alright, well, it just means I can't die again. None of us can. Well, we've got one life between all of us that we can use. Okay, so I'm back. Yeah. Yes, the dangers of pressing triangle too soon. It's like having a watchtower. He's mine. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, no cover either. Yeah. That's awesome. Love them, love them sticky bombs. Yeah, I got yep. some sticky bombs too. Uh, I'll save them for like a more, I'll more save them for a more time. inappropriate time. Like, like super suicide hour. <laughs> super, <laughs> super fireworks <laughs> suicide hour. Yeah. Oh, crossfire. Nice. God damn it! He was happy with that. I'm going a little bit more ramble than I usually do. I don't know why. Well, maybe too much coffee. Oh boy. I'm really taking chances here. One. That's my problem. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, he doesn't want to go down. Oh, he does. Oh, he took a, he took a few. All right. Cool. Get it? Okay, let's go. Got it. Let's go. Back to the chopper. Back to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Look out. Oof. It's intense. This is what I love about this game. It just gets intense as shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I, somebody else needs to fly. I need to heal up here. Use some body armor, eat some snacks. So this, yeah, a lot of people don't, this isn't really clear, but anytime you hold down select, you get your in-game menu. Just go to inventory, and if you've bought more than one body armor, mm -hmm. right now, boom, I've got my armor back, and then I can go to my, my, my snacks, and then eat my P's and Q's, and then boom, I'm back to snuff now. So it's almost like having extra life. And for $500? And what I discovered just recently, for the low, low price of $500, yep. you can choose to kill yourself. So, we got two more packages to collect here, and we're off to the Mini Mart next. It's right yeah. behind the Mini Mart. So, we're probably going to land outside the parking lot. It's right yep. around the back alleyway. So, we just got a few guys out front. Like it, Most of the guys are all back waiting for you to take the package, so it's a deceptive mission. Yeah. Are you flying this, Joe, or is Polly flying this? No, yeah, it Polly. Oh man, I, I know playing with Urzval, man. Urzval is a bit of a maverick with the chopper, and he'll he'll do a lot of close calls on purpose because he's just so pro at flying it, and you're just like biting your nails the whole time. But he gets you there. Yeah. Kind of like riding yeah. with me in, a, in any yeah. any type of like car. Really. Like gonna crash into the mountain. Like, hey, there's that stop sign, Mike. Oh, what stop yeah. sign? I'm colorblind. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. Let's get off the cinematic cam, and let's get. I'm not gonna jump out early this time. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta resist the temptation to do that too. No, you didn't. You didn't resist anything. There was half your body armor. <laughs> Tough guy. Tough guy. Oh! Are you kidding oh, I got, me? I got, I got, oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Smoke! That's it, what man. Happened? 
I wasted both our lives. I'm like the I'm like the the handicap on the team here you now. Died. I you got, got smoked. Did you you got was that? Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, I'm just shooting through the trees or whatever moves. Wow. I'm not even, you got it? Let's go. I got the package. Okay, watch over traffic this time. Don't! I just saw you get smoked! Oh my god! Oh my god, he goes! <laughs> no, okay. I fucking died. Let's go! You died! Oh, god. No! Okay, it's just me and Polly now. Yeah. Goddamn 401. <laughs> Man. I was He's looking like, at the package. Fuck too. no, you're not driving the, riding the chopper! Shit. <laughs> okay then! <laughs> <laughs> so I can't hear Joe now again. Again, this is the problem of Joe losing his life now. We can't actually chat over the headset, so you'll probably just see a talking head talking over top of me during this bro broadcast right now. That's again just a, an imperfection of the game itself. So we're off to get the last package. I'll do the commentary for this now. So we have no lives left between the two of us. We've got a smoking helicopter. Let's see, should I, I should probably put on some armor. <laughs> Going through the windmill farm. Okay, back up to full health. Maybe staying away from the windmills. Went to the like frigid warehouse death. and get this last package of drugs. Oh, Poor Joe is watching God. down from the heavens right now in spirit, saying, you go get him, guys. Yeah. I usually do better than Polly is not this. not having an easy time but, coming during yeah, this chop right now, considering that it's basically about to explode, but as long as he gets us to the last mission checkpoint, I think we'll be alright. <laughs> One thing I think we should uh, do. We can do this. Two lives the two of us we got this. Boy, sure we're gonna go in for a. Uh, say, are you sure you want to bail out? Hard landing here. There is the frigid warehouse. We got plenty of time. Frigid. All right, here we go. This is the last leg of the mission. This is where it all counts, right here. Come on, guys. I'm going for it. Let's do it. It's for all the marbles. I know where that... I think I know where it is, too. Try and flank the side here, Paul and I. Come on, come on. Uh oh, I hear somebody. Here we go. Let's do it. Come on. Why are you here? Why are you here? Ah, yep. Oh, oh here they are. The ambush. Oh my. What the fuck? What the hell? Maybe? I think we went the wrong way here. Oh, they're up on that roof. I think we need to go this way. I'm gonna go up the ladder and take these guys out from above. There you go. Yeah, you get, get the higher high ground on these guys. There you go. We're getting close. There they are. Bye. He 
heat, heated gun battle here. Heated gun battle. Oh, he's done. He's done. Oh, send him off the roof. Sweet. Body's full of man. Wow. Yeah, I think it's just me now. Just me. Alright, so. All up to me now. Who's left? Oh, this guy? There he is. Good night. Oh, somebody behind me. Where, 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 where is he? Where is he? Some guy up ahead. Some guy up there. Oh, up the face. Okay. Nice. <coughs> Package <coughs> is down here. Oh, drilled against the fucking wall. Oh, just a bloody massacre. Bloody fucking massacre. Oh, oh motherfucker. Why are you here? Shut up. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go up the ladder. You're going to get killed. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wow. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 get back up there, get back up there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Last body armor. Can he do it? Can he do it? Let me see this. Where's that last shit talker? Come on. What happened? I ran out of time? Fuck! Ran out of time. Oh. Shit. Okay, let's try another mission. All right. Okay, what else we got? Pot shot. What's this? Pace. What are we gonna do? Okay, let's try. We got crime scene stir, or pot shot, or violent duct. Going for pot shot. All right, here it is. Let's go do pot shot. So we're going to get some more crops. Crops. Organic crops. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Let's see if we can not die this time. I can't believe we both got kill crossing already. That sucked. That That's what killed awesome. the mission. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, we gotta we gotta keep our heads in the game here if we're gonna get, if we're gonna finish these missions here. All right, let's do it. Okay, so you want to drive this this one? Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna take shotgun on this. If we can jump a simple barbed wire fence. No, really? Well, I, no? Can't, I can't. Can't do it, eh? Are you kidding me? Shit, I gotta go all the way around. Oh boy, wow, are you, wow. Oh, I just got smoked. Wow, there's some good collision <laughs> detection there, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Get in the fucking car. <laughs> All right. Set that GPS. All right. Let's see where we're going. Here. Oh god. Ah, don't mind me. Just got a sticky bomb in my hand. What the hell? Where's this GPS leading me? Don't blame the GPS, Michael Scott. Oh boy. And yet I still don't drop the bomb. Uh, fucking indestructible trees. Oh, it's taking you down the dirt road. Okay. That'd be great to have like a plastic arm you can put on your window with a bomb hanging out of it. Actually, that wouldn't be good. You'd probably get arrested for that shit.
Get out the car. Get out the car. Look at this guy. He's like, oh. Okay, so we gotta get into this one. You got the van? That's yeah, the I got the van. All right, let's go. We get in the van and yep. help you out. You wanna get in? Go, 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 get us out of here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There we go. Oh, I love it that the doors are just swinging wide open and then us? nothing's coming out. That's awesome. Oh, it's, 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 uh, you know, we got, we got new types of wood, new types of, of gravitational laws. It's good. This is the world of Rockstar. Yep, it's all good. No, we're not trying to draw attention to ourselves or anything. Right, so we're going to go to this to Trevor's boat. Oh, and there is Polly. He just took him off the road. Poor guy's <laughs> riding on rims right now. His tires are blown out. Oh, you missed your turn. You missed your turn. <laughs> I can see that. Or he keep going straight, I guess. Oh, shit. Watch out for the indestructible telephone pole. They'll be here after yeah, we're, we're so gone. Uh, it survived three world wars and <laughs> their destruction. Just when you oh, no. you were the only thing that could survive the nuclear holocaust. You've told me this. I like the puzzle of mayhem. Not too much mayhem. Oh. <laughs> there are some there. missions where I wish there was a little bit less driving involved, but I guess it gives you space for some drama to play out. You never know when like a new reinforcement's yeah. gonna come in, like three quarters into the journey. Mm -hmm. But but I mean Rockstar has promised yeah, that there will be more traffic the with the next gen version, so I think that'll really add something to the challenge once these streets fill yeah. up a little bit more. Because it does feel a little bit like Sunday most of the times in, in the online mode. Yeah. Alright, looks like this is going to be a successful delivery. We're going to Trevor's trailer. Now, for any of you, no spoiler alert, if you've chosen one of the other ending options for GTA 5, and you're wondering how characters can still appear in this, this actually takes place before the campaign of GTA 5. That's what I've been told. So you actually have to drive the van into Trevor's uh, little garage. So you gotta go over here and drop it into his little garage over here. And it looks like Polly wants to beat you to it. Wow, look at this crap. He's just like trying to ram you in. He's like, fit! Make He's it like fit! He's like me in there. Make it fit! Oh, God, that creepy friend here. Get in there. All right, so successful mission. Missions do get a lot, a lot harder than this, but, you know, we're about halfway through the online campaign here. Yep. Yep. Trevor, I think uh, you agree with me, Mike. One of the, one of the yeah, best characters. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, I'll be honest, in terms of few years. story flow and ups and downs, I wouldn't say Grand Theft Auto V was as good as four, but in terms of just a, yeah. a memorable character, yeah, Trevor is just something else, man. It's easy to write him off as just like a psycho, but there is definitely layers of complexity to him. All right, so let's uh, let's try to finish this off with a survival. Uh, yeah. We'll go to Sandy Survival. That's, a, that's actually one of my favorites. This is a, this is a great survival map. Yep. So this is uh, one of your horde modes. And like like I said, actually no, we'll do survival and we'll yep. finish things off with a parachute. After that, we'll do a we'll do a parachute thing to. Uh... This was a. This is one of those modes that uh, when, we, when uh, I first started playing with you online here that uh, I was really bad at. But, uh, you know, you, you, you practice and you, and you get better. You know, I, you know, my big thing was, you know... That, that's like, usually advisable, I'd say. Like an idiot. Not so saying the open like an idiot. And, you know, uh, but, yeah, you know what? That's the thing. You yeah. know, you got to really get used to the shooting style of, of Grand Theft Auto, which is based off Max Payne. You know, that duck cover snap yeah. and shoot kind of formula it's it's not like going out and playing you know first person shooter it's it's a totally different style of play and i actually Absolutely. prefer it. this is what i'm not really great at first yeah. person shooters like battlefield but i can i can handle my own on this so mm -hmm. 
And like I said, if you need to ramp the challenge up, you can turn yeah. to free mode and really, it really feels get more accessible, done, like, especially when it comes to the shooting. Yeah. But you're playing with fire, when, like we said earlier, you're playing with fire playing that free mode. It's, it's if tough, you, man. Uh, like, free mode in a third person shooter, it, it's, it's tough. It's, it's just not that fun yeah. for me. I like the Snap 2 mode. It's, there's still enough challenge because yeah. the AI is really good. That's the trade off, is that the AI is really good. Yeah. Okay, so let's see here where we're going to go and stake our position here. I'd say, ooh, this looks alright. Come get me, fools. Okay, homies, it's go time. Spill some blood. Fuck the bloods, fuck the crips. Oh boy, here they come. Oh, okay, they're all around the other side. Right in the heart. Oh, surprise, motherfucker. Oh, it's great. Like how Some of the stuff they yell at you is truly shocking. You the whole time. It's fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's really cool about the survival mode too is that it gives you a chance to to try out some of the weapons you won't unlock till like you rank up a little higher, which is which is a nice little thing here. It's gotta be a better yeah. place to stake out here. Yeah. Gives you some experience so, with it. Here. I like my spot right here. Right behind this uh, rusted out forward van here. Oh, you dick. Stuck up on me, eh? Yeah, suck it. Done. Shit. Yeah! Back, back, back it up! Back it up, he says. You back it up! What are you talking smack for? I just put you down on the ground. Animations are always fantastic in this game. It's really satisfying. Damn, wait, shit, man. Sounds like a problem, but. Oh! When they just, oh, when they the just land shave. and they just crumple up in the field position. <laughs> Alright, nice. We're, we're making mincemeat out of this mode so far. No deaths yet. This is good. Let's this see good. what we got here. Okay, let's go restock up on nice. armor and health. That armor, I'll go grab this one. Good, I need an armor oh, bag. Shit, it's gonna start. <laughs> Get that armor. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Getting cover. Hurry hard. Oh, I know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over here this time. Nope, not there, not there, not there. Come Burn on, niggers. Bring it on. Okay, let's get in this. Oh boy. Let's see you, punk. Ooh, there you are. Oh, there's no one. Oh, I thought you could surprise me, eh? Alright. Oh boy. You faded asshole. <laughs> Dude, the, the ass dick is there. Like the cops call me an ass dick. It's great. Feels good. Feels good to be recognized for, for you know. I try hard. Ass dick. Try hard. <laughs> Where 
Where are you guys going? Cletus? Go back and have sex with your sister. Cletus. Oh, he screams like a little dog. God. Bloodbath, bloodbath. I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Goodbye. Nice job, guys. Nice job. It's like we want, we're hungry for it. Yeah. It's good. Yep. Yep. Wave 10. We're gonna do it. We're gonna taste it. It's gonna be epic. Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna, oh, smart. Before I go, I'm gonna plant a bomb on this truck here. SMRT. Okay. All right, here we go. Nince me. Right in the heart. Two bullets. Done. Drops dead. Go get fucked. Go get fucked. Done. Oh, chopper. Let's see if I can snipe it. Ooh, I'm getting clipped up. Shit, shit! No, I'm gonna get killed! Survive, survive, survive! No! Ah! Oh. Alright, well, for the benefit of our viewers, we get to go into spectate mode, so let's see how Joe's faring here. Oh, I know. Oh, I it's just, uh. Shit. It's just Paul. Oh, and Paul, he gets it too! Alright, well, you know what? We, we, we survived a respectable three rounds. We did alright, got some RP there, so that's a taste of survival mode. Let's uh let's wrap her up guys with a nice survival for it. Pseudo ring race of a parachute parachute race, which is kinda like a ring race in like Sonic Racing Transformed or something like that. So Okay. This is this is a, like this is a great way to see just the the see, sheer see what ambition here. of what Rockstar accomplished on seven gen hardware. Like you really get like a nice bird's eye view of, of, of the city here and it's just it's just gorgeous. So I'm, yeah. that's again. I, I'm not. I'm not buying the PS4 version for the graphics, but I can definitely tell it's going to be great. Be. Okay, so let's. Uh, yeah. Okay, Joe, you're the host. My big thing is with the. Uh, my big thing is with the uh, the online. That's all I, I ask. That's all I ask. Just all a lot more stable. I'm just hoping. And, but that, even then, know. Joe, I think yep. that Rockstar, knowing that this was yep. multiplat, knowing that pretty much. Most gamers bought this game. They still have to give us something to entice us to buy it again. And I want to agree with what Mitch Dyer said on, uh, I think it was Mitch Dyer on IGN who kind of, or no, it was Marty Sleva who kind of said that I wouldn't be surprised if we see episodic content kind of like what they did with GTA 4 with Ballad of Gay Tony and uh, The Lost of the Dam. I think that would be awesome if they, if they not only unveil heist mode, but also throw in some epic sort of content within Los Santos with other characters. And maybe get to revisit Lester a bit more, Lamar, you know, some of these other side characters are really interesting. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm really fucking this already. Yeah. Yeah, you know what, holding, I find that holding the cinematic camera helps with, with the aiming, a little bit anyway. Not much, this is, this is a hard mode. Yeah. Okay, now I seem to be on the right track. Oh, can I hit one? Can I hit one? Oh, here we go. Don't miss it. Of course you did. Wow, I really suck at this. Like I, oh my god, hit it. Come on! 
What am I doing wrong? Come on, let's see if I can get here now. Got you in my sights. There we go. Hold down circle, that helps a little bit, but then it, I miss. Oh, there's, there's one. Alright. Got that one. Nice. I'm getting better. Oh, past the Vinewood sign. I didn't get anything? How the fuck is that possible? I went through all that and I got a score of zero? Oops, that didn't work so well. What? Where are you going? Oh my god, am I actually gonna finish it? Am I gonna finish it? Oh, face plant. I missed At the least landing, I so I didn't though. get any. I missed, missed the landing, the landing. So I didn't get uh, didn't get any points. Well, at least he, he get an idea of like possibly what's one of the hardest modes in this game. So that's uh, kind yeah. of a taste of a lot of what GTA 5 Online has to offer. But I mean, still a lot more modes. Only thing is, if you are playing this on PS3, you're gonna have a lot of connection issues issues to deal mm -hmm. with. Probably not as many on the 360. So hopefully, Rockstar, you're listening. You gotta iron this stuff out. Otherwise. I can't recommend this game for next gen. It's really the only thing stopping me from doing just like go get it for next gen. I, I'm really just waiting to see Joe if they can fix this yeah. stuff. So I don't but know. I think Hopefully I'm like gonna the power of like cloud processing. You know what I'm probably gonna there? do, Mike? Is I, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna watch maybe a, before I actually go and uh, buy the the PS4 version of this. Uh, I may watch a couple of people stream the online and just see for myself. You know if um, if things are nice and stable. Well then, uh, you know we'll see. Uh, you know it's uh, it, from, from my experience playing online with the PS4 it has has been better than playing on with the PS3. It's I I, th I think they'll do it. It's just uh, the system I think is just more capable. So we'll see. Yeah, whether on PS4 or Xbox One. Well, I mean PC, you know it, yeah. uh, it'll probably be it'll run like a dream. But really, it's just yeah. there's got to be a justification to get this next gen version and really. Mm -hmm. when, I mean, I've, I've finished the campaign. You know, I don't think I'll be doing it for a while. It's really the online is, is what's going to entice me to come back. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's online. Lots of people playing it all the time. If you can get a stable connection, you'll have a great time. Uh, yeah. That's been the seventh episode of Joystick Justice League Battle Arena. I'm Mike Frusios. I'm Joe Morin. We'll see you again, guys. Stay tuned, and we'll see you soon. Peace. Peace. Game on, guys.